Howdy folks. I know there are a lot of videos out there of uh, home-built vacuum chucks for lathes. And here's one more. I made this vacuum chuck out of mostly scrap that I had around. I did buy bow rings and, and a bearing. Started out with a tube. This is a 3 8 inch outside diameter drawn over mandrel steel tube. Measures right at 3 8 of an inch and that'll go through my uh, uh, the shaft on my uh, headstock with just a little bit of clearance. On the end of that I pressed a I believe it's a 629 2RS meaning two rubber seals uh, bearing onto the end of the shaft. That's a 9 millimeter bore, 8 millimeter thickness, and 26 millimeter outside diameter. Nothing special about that bearing other than the fact that it is a Japanese bearing. It's not a, uh, it's a notchy uh, because I wanted to get as good a rubber seal as I could. Since uh, we're not uh, using a an industrial rotary coupling here, uh, we're using the rubber seals to keep the vacuum from leaking. I made the uh, actual chuck out of uh, UHMW. Again, something I just had uh, laying around. This is one inch. Uh, probably Delrin would have been better. Don't have any Delrin, so UHMW it is. I recessed the back for an O-ring. This is a 20. 5.2 millimeter internal diameter by 3 millimeter o-ring and that just fits the bearing and to hold this all together I've got a washer and a drilled out and tapped the UHMW for uh, these number six screws, they, uh, the threads in UHMW aren't all that robust, but it doesn't have to hold much. Basically, it's just keeping the, the bearing from falling out, which it really doesn't want to do once it gets in there with the, uh, with the O-ring. We'll assemble this here. So you don't want to torque on these UHMW threads much because they will strip out. So you just snug it all down. And there it is assembled. So I've got a groove in the back. That accepts my uh, 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 four jaw chuck, that uh, scroll chuck that goes on the lathe. Uh, I am clamping against the outside, so this has a, a little bit of a, uh, a draft on it, so that the more I expand the chuck, the, the tighter it uh, clamps. On the outside here, I think uh, you can see that that is a little dovetailed uh, area and that accepts the o-ring seal that seals against your wooden part and this particular o-ring i don't know what size it is because it's a well, should stay on there i just made it out of o-ring stock and you can see i've got a little dimple there so that i always line this up with the number one jaw on my my chuck to minimize any kind of run out. The 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 uh, this chuck face itself was machined on that lathe, so it uh, 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 doesn't doesn't have a great deal of run out. Okay. The only thing about the lathe itself that uh, I changed at all was inside the handle I put this UHMW bushing that is just very slightly larger than 3 eighths of an inch 
that keeps the uh, uh, the tube from flapping around and drooping down and put, putting too much uh, uh, stress on that tiny little bearing. The, the bearing is basically used as a, as a rotary union and, it, and it's not used really as a bearing as such. So that just keeps things uh, uh, from flopping around a little bit. To install the vacuum chuck in the lathe, you just take the, uh, the tube, run it down the middle, and then line up your dimple with jaw number one. This is an old supernova chuck. And tighten it down, and that should run fairly true. And it does. To generate the vacuum, I use a $12.88 Harbor Freight uh, uh, vacuum Venturi rig. Uh, it really makes my compressor work pretty hard, so I'll probably get a get a pump later on but it's what I use right now and to hook it up you just push the uh, push the tube on the back side of the uh, uh, steel tube that runs down the middle and as you can see that rotates easily okay I've just turned the vacuum on I've got here a, a bowl that has no good place to chuck it, so this is really why I made the vacuum chuck. So let's uh, stick it on and we're good. And that is a homemade vacuum chuck. Hope you all enjoyed it.